my way in life. And do you remember the guy who, who was the prodigal son? He went away and spent all his money and he, and he got into a mess and he went back to his daddy. And what did his daddy do? His daddy put a ring on his finger. His daddy put his arm around him. And if you come to your father, who's your daddy, and you come to him and say, Lord, I can't cope with my job. I can't cope with my marriage. I can't cope at this moment with my kids. I can't do it anymore. I need help. And if you cry to him, he'll come and he'll comfort you with his love and he'll save you and he'll put his arms around you and he'll fill you with his joy and he'll fill you with his peace. It starts with faith, faith in him. Have faith in Jesus. Have faith in the Lord. Trust him as your savior. Trust him and say, Lord, I believe you. I believe your words. I believe you're the son of God. I believe it. And have you believed? Repent. The word repent is not a popular word. People don't like the word repentance. They think it's a, an irrelevant word. But repentance is being sorry, deeply sorry for the things that we've done wrong. It's a good word. John the Baptist said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repentance is a good word. When we repent, we're sorry for what we've done wrong. When we repent, we're broken for what we've done wrong. And until we come to God and are broken for what we've done wrong, then we can never find him. We have to come and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Repent means I'm broken for what I've done. I'm sorry for what I've done wrong. But when you come and you're broken honestly before God and you come to the cross and you say, Lord, Paul said we preach Christ crucified. Amen. When you come to the cross and believe that he died on that cross. Oh, the Son of God died. The Son of God who created.